Hi friends, um, I thought I would just share this little tip with you all. I don't think that there is a feature to do offset on the iPad. Um, so I found a really easy workaround to do these cut lines um, for my scored earring shapes. I'm working on another like funky like summertime bundle. It might be part of the Pride collection. I haven't decided yet. Um, but let me just show you a quick way to get around that. So I have my design here that I drew and it's pretty much exactly how I want it. And I just want an offset cut line. So what I'm gonna do is make sure I have my selection tool. Let me make sure you can see it all. I am this first arrow at the top and this window comes up. So I'm gonna hit the duplicate button and move this um, slightly away from the existing one. And then from there, I'm going to go to my properties, which is this little like levels icon and go to my stroke. And I'm gonna make it 0.125 inches, which makes it really thick like this. And then I'm gonna go to the object menu um, make this a compound path, create stroke outline. So what that does is it turns that stroke into a shape um, because if you've been following along my tutorials, um, the laser doesn't recognize the outline width, like the stroke width, unless you convert it into an object. So that's what that create stroke outline does. And then I'm gonna release compound path. And what that does is it lets the, um, compound path go and every little element there becomes its own object and you can see how they are highlighted and then the last step I'm going to go to the combine shapes combine all and hit convert to path and now this is one solid shape without those middle pieces and I can just change it to a stroke outline using my color menu and then just line it up um, so that it is exactly the offset width that I wanted for my cassette tape. And then if I'm going to add, um, oops, let me close that out, a hole for an earring, I usually do 0.07. And I don't think I like this horizontally, like I think it might be kind of clunky. So I'm going to group it with this um, little button here. And I'm going to turn it kind of like off to the side. And I'm going to put that at the top. And so like, obviously I have to cut it out and test it and see, um, maybe it wouldn't hang right. So I could always change it to be like this, or if I wanted it to have its own, um, like little loop at the top, I could take my circle, which is 0.07, duplicate it and make it, um, usually I'll do like 0.2 and I like it to be a perfect circle. Um, So that works and then I can line it up there, highlight them both and do the exclude overlap and convert to path. And then all I would need to do here would be to line it up where I would want it um, to attach to my drawing here. And I would just take the two red stroke pieces and do combine all convert to path. Um, but what I didn't realize here is this was still grouped. So I ungroup it, make sure that you only see the red circle here and do combine all convert to path. And then you can group it again. So it's one piece you can duplicate and flip it so that you have your mirrored earrings. And then that would be some cute little cassette tapes um, hanging. I've also got little iced coffees and some skates. So I'm gonna be playing around with these. I have some new acrylic that should be arriving today. I'm super excited. Um, so just keep an eye on my shop for the next week or so. Um, hopefully I will get these listed soon. I'm still trying to figure out exactly where I want the collection to be, but I thought I'd just share this little clip with you all. Happy Sunday!